something went terribly wrong and he was viciously hacked to death. Three men are being questioned, including his son. News 5's Dwayne Moody reports. An American national has been murdered in the Curzal district. On Monday morning, the mutilated body of 49-year-old John Ross was discovered at his farm in an isolated area of Shaibe village in Curzal. Ross had been butchered with a machete just outside his house, and today the home remains open and abandoned. Curzal police received information of an apparent dead body that was seen west of Shaibe village, Curzal district. Police immediately responded, and on arrival at the scene, the apparent lifeless body of a male person was seen lying face up on the ground in the yard beside the septic tank, with what appears to be multiple chapoons to the left side of the neck, face, and right lower arm. The scene was processed, and the body was transported to the Causal Community Hospital. Ross was last seen alive on Saturday morning by neighbors as he traveled to Corazal Town to shop for groceries. The body was discovered on Monday morning by three men who went to his farm to purchase sheep. One of my cousins asked my uncle if, if he don't know where they sell sheep. So he tell we that told him got a white man on the road, so in the sugar road, so he got some sheep for sale. So we gone. But we mistake the road, so we went and we come back now. We saw a old man on the side of the trap clean up the areas. So when we haul up there and we ask the old man, All right, you don't know where a white man will sell sheep and anything. So the old man said, well, the road the right there, so that me can have my work site. So you can look across through and then right back the areas there. So by the time we gone, we see a lot of junk crew up on the trees and what's not, no? So we, we no pay no mind. So when they reach the yard, so we see the, the sheep in the coral where they got there, right? So um, one time with the hill and here when nobody no come out. So one of my friends said, Why? See that man there behind one drum, maybe the man dropped or say what happened to the man. So one time we, we tried this, so I tell him, No, why? This man dead. He said, But how? I tell him, Why? He got a lot of chop up in his face. I tell him, You can recognize that man good. So he tell me, so what we are do, I tell him the best thing we call the police, so say, make them take over the thing because we are no police. I just see his face chop up and he know me got an arm. So um, they want a free hand to know the police no find a free hand. So I don't know if they got back in at the evening or whatever, you know, I don't know really what got on afterwards. Because the same moment the police move, the same moment we move though. Three persons are presently in police custody. News 5 has confirmed that a caretaker who worked with Ross as well as his son, 23-year-old Chris Ross, and a third person have been detained pending the outcome of the investigation. It is not known, however, why the retired U.S. national who has been living in Shaibe for the past six years was hacked to death. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how long we have been living in that era. But definitely, um, well over two years. Okay. So, any, um, are, are is police anywhere close to solving this latest murder in Corozal? Well, as is, it's a young investigation, we're doing all we can do. And um, I think, like I said, we have two persons detained, and those persons are uh, being questioned as we speak. Sir, has the murder weapon been uh, retrieved? No, not as yet. A motive for the crime so far? I know it's still initial investigations, but any motive as to why someone would hack this man to death? We haven't ascertained that as yet. Ross's wife is currently in the U.S. and has since been notified of his murder. Dwayne Moody for News 5.